Hey guys, what's up? Tim 3D Alpha. This video is about beef consumption. Beef. B E E F. And if you're a vegetarian, obviously you're not gonna like this video. But um, for the rest of us carnivores out there, guys, I've been doing a lot of research this past year. Like I said, I started bodybuilding July, July 17th, July, July 2011. So it's been a year, and I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of ups and downs, gain weight, lost weight, gain weight, lost weight, because I was experimenting with my body, and I still am. Life is a journey. You gotta keep experimenting. But one thing that I did, and I learned that from my engineering background in college, is I always ask questions and I always gather information. I gather data and I look at what's been done before, what's being done now, I, and I just put everything together and I look for a common thread. That's the secret to life. Always look for a common thread. Ask 20 different people from 20 different backgrounds that have the, the, the physique that you want, right? Or that are going where you want to, you know, where you want to go. And ask them secrets and tips, their, their personal methods. And look for the common threads. If the guy from China, the guy from Africa, the guy from India, they all have muscles, eat different things. But you notice they all eat one thing, right? Write that thing down. Gather data, guys. And I told you, every time I see somebody in the gym that have a dominant body part, I ask them, hey, what do you do for this? What do you do for that? Yeah, I know there's genetics and stuff like that, but it's also training and nutrition. So one thing I noticed about people that are very muscular, and especially old timers, is they eat a lot of beef, right? So I did my research on beef. Of course, you're going to see negative things about beef. There's negative things about everything. People saying bad things about water, for God's sake. So, but but a lot of the benefits of beef, I mean, you can't overlook it. Look at, and I study a lot of history. I look at people in the past, like the Romans, the gladiators, the, the Spartans, all these all these warriors, right? And I looked at what their diets consisted of. I don't just look at today's bodybuilders like, you know, Arnold or whatever. I go back, 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 back in history. And I type, you know, go on the internet, you find these things out. They ate a lot of beef. Then I went to Africa, you know, looked up, you know, African warriors. What was their diet consisted of? Beef, beef, beef. You go to um, different places, different parts of the world, like where people were muscular and strong and, and you know, very warrior-like. What did they feed their army with before war? I found out that a lot of these countries, before they would go to war, they would feed their army tons of beef, like weeks before. I guess they, they didn't know it was creatine that was making people strong as fuck. But I just knew there was something about beef as compared to chicken and other things that made people stronger and more muscular. To this day, it still stands true. Like, if I had to pick between beef, chicken, turkey, eggs, whatever, I would go for beef. I would go for beef. I don't care the, the, the side effects. I would go for beef. Even when I started eating beef um, a few weeks back, before I wasn't eating a lot of beef because it was too expensive. But now I realized I just got to cut down on my protein shakes and stuff like that. And, and focus on beef. The results of beef are ridiculous, guys. Not only it has creatine, but it's just, I don't know. I don't want to go into the science of it. It's great. You want to build muscle. If you're not eating beef, you are missing out. And I guarantee you, if you take two weeks, just two weeks, where you stop eating chicken, or um, that's going to kill a lot of black people. Start eating chicken, start eating fish, whatever, for just two weeks, and you focus on getting all your protein from beef, right? Lean beef. Don't get that 80 20 shit. 93 7, 90% lean, 7% fat. Beef, use the jaw forming grill to get rid of the extra fat. Eat beef for two weeks and you'll notice the, 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 the strength increases, the strength gains, and, and the size gains. I mean, you cannot dispute beef. The reason why I bought carnivore, I know it's getting a lot of, like I said, a lot of bad feedback, but it's been working for me. It's working great for me. The reason why I bought it is because I don't like to, like I said, knock something down unless I try it. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to give it a try, even though it was $50, a lot of fucking money, but I loved it. And I said, to this day, out of all the protein shakes I took, carnivore was by far the best. And it tastes like shit. For somebody to sell a product for $50 that tastes like shit and has so many bad reviews and they keep, they, they're still standing behind it, that's how you know it works. Because if you want, if you just want, if you just want the money, you put a lot of sweetening agents in it, you make it as, as tasty as possible. But when you know something's expensive and you sell it for as, as high as fucking carnivore, they know what they're talking about, you know what I'm saying? And, and I've, I've been taking it for what, a month now. It's over, by the way. I feel like crying. My carnival, you know, ran out. I got to wait uh, probably four weeks to save up, you know, $50 to, you know, to buy it again. But I will not stop buying carnival until I die. I hope they fucking sponsor me. Muscle Mads, please sponsor Lil' Bojoli Muscle. I'm broke. I need your carnival. If you don't, I'm going to sneak into your lab and just... I'm, I'm, I'm going to sneak into your lab with Ziploc bags and just grab a whole bunch of scoops. But anyway... Um, so beef, guys, increase your beef intake, right? Not, not as, not as a form of protein shake. That's just for me. I'm just doing that, you know, for me, because sometimes I just don't, you know, don't feel like cooking. But if you have access to beef, increase the amount of beef you eat. And if you don't believe me, go on Google, do some research, and ask people that are making gains what are they eating. They're eating a lot of beef. 
And that's what people are eating in, in, in poor countries. And they're, they're muscular over there. They're in a calorie deficit because they're, they're poor as fuck. But they're muscular because they're more active. You know, they're, they're, you know, they're not stuffing their faces with donuts, but they eat a lot of beef. If you look at nations or civilizations that eat a lot of fish and other stuff, yes, they're healthy and stuff like that. But they're not as muscular even if they do the same activities. If you don't believe me, check it out. I did my research, guys. But anyway, Team 3D Alpha. Check out the website, lowbudgetlymuscle.com. Add me on Facebook, Jonathan Megan. Got to get ready for work. And I got to leave you off with a wisdom quote. My index cards. Uh, let's see. What's this one said? Okay. You are always the most powerful. I wrote that July 5th, by the way. You are always the most powerful and dangerous when you are, one, angry, and number two, excited. I repeat. You, as a human being, you will be at your most powerful state only when you're in those two emotions, in the state of anger or a state of excitement. With that being said, if there's something you find hard to accomplish, whether it's homework or bodybuilding or lifting weights or cardio or whatever, try to put yourself in those two states, excitement or anger. How do you do that? Music. I say, how do you do that? Music. For me, personally, I have a playlist called Anger and a playlist called Excitement. The playlist called Anger, I put all the songs that make me angry. You know, there's a lot of heavy metal that makes me really angry, like, ah. And I put a, I have a playlist called Excitement. I put the songs that excite me, get me, you know, my, my, get my blood pumping. Try this out. Before doing homework or before doing something you don't want to do, go to your playlist, get angry or get excited. You'll notice a change in your, in your, in your, in your psyche, in your mentality, and you'll knock things out of the way. All right, guys. Team 3D. Yo, Chill! <laughs>